What's up everyone? Welcome back. Today we're going to be drawing Kakashi with his Chidori sort of coming up to his face. I wanted to draw like the full body pose, but I can't do full bodies. <laughs> so we are going to go for this sort of face with the hand coming up, right? So we start with his eyes. Center point of my page about here. Well, it's about here. We come down a little bit below the halfway. We start with his eyes because his hair is so big. So Typical Naruto eye, you go diagonal and across. And then it's got like a hook down here. And if you want, you can thicken up this line a little bit. Bottom eyelid then just comes along here. His iris, just a half circle. He's looking up at us. So it's just a half circle coming down from his eye there. Pupil. Just here. And we're going to give him a Sharingan. So we go there and there. You can't see the top one. Let me just go a little comma there. Like that. And if you want the line that comes across. The center. Okay, the top eyelid line comes across there. And his eyebrow is like mostly under his headband, but we can see some scar, I think, going up this way. Right, and the headband comes across here. And the scar comes down this way under his face mask. <laughs> So what we can see of the eyebrow sort of like starts here and just goes up underneath this way. Okay. We go over and do the other eye and it's closed. So he's got a closed eye on this side. Comes across. Just this kind of curved line. And you've got to thicken it up to make it look like eyelashes, right? So you'll just go a little spike here. So, and then like some lines just around this. All right, so then the headband, before we do any more of that eye, we'll just do the headband coming across here. Right. And then the eyebrow on this side, up underneath, and I think we can see some little hooks coming down here. Okay, so we can see his sideburns sticking down just either side of his eyebrows, and then. So we can't see like his nose or anything, right? We can just see like a bare sort of line for the edge of his nose there. And then his face mask will come across his nose, right? So it'll curve under around and down the other side. Like this, right? And then you just join this section to his sideburn. And then we go down to his chin, right? So his chin is about here. He'll just go down for his jaw. Like so. All right, so we can see his ears sticking out here. Ears sticking out this side. And then lines inside that so. Like 
like that. The ear line's inside there. Then, so the rest of his headbands, we got like just these two sort of bumps just on the side. It's mostly hair on this side, but you can see like a little bump there. And then we got like a hair spike. This is kind of old school Kakashi hair, right? So it's kind of like big, long hair spikes. And then the rest of the headband comes across this way and some more hair spikes here. Come up this way. We should probably see some more sort of headband here. And then of course the metal plate, right? So we got just like the edges of it here and here. And then you just bring them across the bottom of his, the fabric of his headband and across the top. And we can just see a line across the top here as well. And then some bolts. And then you can do the ninja leaf spiral or you can do the war symbol. We'll do this spiral because it's easier. So you just go around a couple of times. When you get about here, you add a bit of a tail there and then a beak just on the front. And then the rest of his hair. So we'll go over here. So we'll go up, small spike. And then they start to spike real big. Going up this way. There's a real big one going up here. Come on. So we go. Yeah, we'll just go back here. And then a big wavy one. And down this way. One, two, three. Yeah, we'll go the whole way into his head now, I think. Into there. Remember, hair moves. You don't have to do it exactly as I'm doing it. Okay, so. We do sort of his... We we'll do his shoulders kind of thing, right? So we got like a bump for his collar coming out here, nearly going around his neck, right? Goes behind his hand, somewhere down here, right? But his shoulders come off this way. He's kind of hunched over, so they're kind of high up. There's a bump here, because it's that ninja sort of armor stuff that they wear, do you know? You know, it's got a button here, you know, that kind of thing. Same on this side, pretty much. And I'm just leaving this empty because we got to draw his hand. So then this comes down like so, his shoulder, shoulder here. And he seems to have some red symbols or spirals. Just there. Right, so the hand here, he's doing like a kind of an upward thing with all the lightning sort of coming out. He's doing this kind of thing, right? It's a pretty tricky hand position, so take your time. And it's kind of drawn oddly. But we'll try and make it maybe a little bit clearer so thumb right first go up to the thumb here kind of curves around like so thumb knuckle so try and look at my own thumb what it looks like because the picture ain't great so we go this way we go down 
and this goes down into his glove, right? So his fingerless glove. So it's kind of bumpy, kind of coming down this way. So we'll add sort of a thumbnail maybe here. Make some thumb index. Some thumb skin, sorry, skin lines just there on his knuckle. Right, so fingers coming across here. There's like a gap between these two. So we've got like these two together and then the other three sort of over there on their own. So I think I'll just mark them, mark them where they come out of the gloves first. So one there, right? This is where it like comes out of the base of the glove. You leave a little bit of a space and then another one there. And then these ones are like all touching. They're like close together. Okay, like that, right? So each of these is a finger. So you have thumb, index, middle ring, pinky, right? So we'll go, we'll go around for each of these, right? So. They kind of come up we're looking at them face on so we kind of got like a knuckle bump shape here and then this is like curve in up and around like that right and then this is like a fingernail sort of area here and you could have like some knuckle lines just coming across like so so then this finger is kind of, these fingers are kind of turned to their side, right? So they're not, we're not looking at them front on like this one. So we'll go up to a knuckle. Goes up again, another knuckle. And then this finger may touch like his chin a little bit. And then it comes around. There. And then it goes, disappears into the glove sort of section here. Right, so then the next finger, same thing again, right? So knuckle, another knuckle. And then around for his finger. And then down disappears into there and we'll just get them in so next finger little finger comes around for his knuckle there and then comes around one two three so your fingers have like three sections really each finger see the way it turns one two three right so you want to try and make sure your fingers have like those three sections one two and the third one goes into the glove so then we have fingernails, just here. Try make this little finger a bit bigger, like that, and then like knuckle lines. Okay, and then like his glove kind of comes around here. So there's all these glove lines because it's going into his glove. And the back of his hand is just in behind the fingers here. And it disappears down there. And then it comes across the bottom. And then his little finger comes down the back of his hand into here. He's got this glove on, so it comes around. Like a shield on the back of his wrist or something there. Right, and then his wrist sort of goes this way. Okay. 
right? And then we just draw in the rest that we're missing in here, right? So it's his like collar comes around in there. Make a line like so. Bring down that sort of edge line that they have. And then the rest of this will just go like up into there. And then like his neck, just in there, kind of navy. Make another line going down there. Right, so then lightning right coming out from all this right so coming out from just the, like the center of the palm of his hand right so and you're gonna have to draw over and if you want to do the lightning color over some stuff right so let's just go out from here so we'll just go moment of truth so you're just gonna have to do a few of these now going in all different Directions. I won't like cover his face. Right, like so, you could do loads, you could do less. It's really up to you. Do, 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 do. All right, something like that. That's how to draw Kakashi with his Chidori. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.